Hello all developers, welcome back to all of you once again. My name is Nikhil all the way from India. So this is part 2 of service portal development tutorial. And in this video session you will learn about pages and widgets. So let's have a brief introduction of pages and widgets. So friend, a portal page houses containers, rows, columns which then contain widgets by designing the layout of the page and the widgets within it developers construct the desired user experience pages are reusable across portals so friend uh, on this service portal we have this index page and it has uh, this many widgets to check how many widgets are associated are available on this index page all you have to do is that hover over a specific widget and control right click and click so widget customization now you can see this many widgets on this page and most probably it has uh, 16 widgets the you can count by yourself okay and it is also saying that it contains it houses containers rows and columns why to keep the widget at a specific position on the page to look good it uses bootstrap grid layout and if you are on the page you want to design the layout again if you want to design the layout which you can see on the screen again for that again you have to right click on the specific widget and you have to click page in designer there's alternative way to come here by going to the application navigator and if you will type pages and scroll down below okay this service portal pages and through id here id is very important only we can identify page by id only if you want to identify specific page then only we can identify through id so if you scroll down below and once you click this open in designer you will redirect you to this page and here you can design the existing layout or you can add extra widgets on this page let's suppose i want to add new widget on this page for that first uh, from the left section from the left uh, pane in the layout section you have to select this container and drag and drop over this page and once you click this plus icon it will ask for you to select the layout and as you know friend bootstrap use the layout in 12 divisions okay so let me select uh, this okay so this row now this row have row has uh, this many columns so here i want to add mm, I want to add 
I can add a cool clock. Okay. Cool clock. Let's add here. And next. I want to add a form. Okay. So let's add the form. But for the form, you have to customize some properties. This is too much time. I think this will appear by taking parameter from the URL. So let's leave it. Let's remove it. Okay, and just leave it. Let's go to our portal and refresh it. Now it is showing this uh, widget, clock widget. Okay, uh, but unnecessarily I have added this widget on this page, which is not required. Let's remove this total container. So once you will add the layout, you can add a widget from here by searching through this filter widget search box. Okay. So friend here, uh, what are widgets? Widgets are reusable components that make up functionality of a portal page. Widgets define what a portal does and what information a user sees. Exactly. The widgets which you are able to see on the screen is showing some information like uh, here you could see your my open incident, my approvals, announcement, service and assessment, top rated articles, current status and this is the link. If you click it will navigate you to a specific page. And what it is saying that widgets are reusable component. So again control right click over a specific widget and so widget customization. So, all these three widget, three widget are same. If you click this eye icon, see the name is icon link. Here the name is also icon link, and this is also the same widget icon link. That's why it is saying that widgets are reusable component that make up the functionality of portal. Page. So let's uh, create one portal. Okay, let's create the portal. Demo. Uh, what we can see is service no to portal development okay now we can pd and this is very important uh, by using suffix only you can identify that which portal is this and if you want to add portal name you can check this checkbox box and you can use existing home page kb home page login page okay and this so let's save it first and let's create a home page for this portal and after that we will select from here okay so
from the application navigator type pages and under the service portal application you could see this module pages just open it so you have uh, this many pages records so let's create a new but i can say here a demo index page okay demo underscore index underscore page that's it and just save it So I just want to add this page uh, for the service portal as an index home page. Let's click here and check. So here demo index page. Let's save it. Okay, for this uh, portal there should be some theme. There should be a theme and menu. So let's so we'll discuss about this also in SP instance menu. What is this? Okay. For now, let's select this speeder menu and theme. Mm, stock. Okay. Select this. And then just save. Okay, so if I'll run this portal, it will show nothing because uh, this page doesn't consist anything. So PD. So you can see the portal development its title is fine. Okay, and all the menus associated with this main menu, this pay instance menu record. That's good. So we have a next slide that is service portal configuration okay so which I have already opened here to open this to type here service portals and portal and under this application you could see the service portal configuration and once you will click this it will open this page and this page is showing all these capabilities which you can do like for branding editor customize your portals titles logos and theme colors preview changes as you make them and designer uh, page designer which i have already shown to you and the page editor also that okay so if i open this So this is for title, logo and themes color. So let's select our portal that is demo service, uh, I think portal development. So you can replace this title by adding some images. So service now images icon. Okay. There are a lot. Let's add 
just want to add okay just want to let's add this okay first save image as desktop unnamed png and if i go to desktop and mm. okay so let's crop it and save it okay and let's go to our branding editor page and upload that image so this one wait so now it is showing this logo but we have to change the color of this header so to go to here and i think this is uh, this white color let's see if it will work okay we need a totally white for a while so now it is white and next we have to change this divider color to, okay and i just want to change this link color as well black And if I'll hover, it should be this green color. Okay. So I don't know. I think it's this. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It is swing. Beautiful. It is swing beautiful. Okay. So let's go here and check. So here you can see. Okay. And other color you can change. Like what color you want to keep as background. So If I want to contrast with this uh, divider color, then panel okay, page background should be a little bit this one. Let's see. Okay, okay. Panel background. So, panel background means. Here you can see right panel background is white uh, that is coat and primary color if you want to select if you will go here flat uicolors.com from here you can select the desired color like for the primary they are saying that it's curtains and primary it's okay this blue looking perfect mm. success uh, green let's copy this dark mountain ok 
ओके एंड इन्फो कलर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस इन्फो इन्फो के मेगा मैन कॉम्पीज वर्निंग सो वर्निंग दिस the danger color let's select this amr okay that's good same we have a text color so text color is good success let's copy the same from here okay and success muted muted color muted color is let's select okay muted color is this so not with the muted color muted color should be Oh, this okay. No, oh, no, no. Okay. The link color and the link color like this, right? Hmm. This primary color we can attach for the link color. Okay. so this is how you can configure your theme colors and logos titles okay so whenever you will select this uh, color through bootstrap class then it would be easy for you refresh it 